I'm doing something a little different and we are doing a bonus edition of Design Trends. There was so many awesome things that I found in my research that I wanted to share and I just didn't want the video to be like an hour long. <laughs> so today we're gonna go over some more design trends that we're seeing coming down the pipe for 2024. I have to admit something, I was inspired to create this video when I was listening to one of my favorite podcasts, the Scott and Cat After Nine podcast. If you've never listened to them, you should, they're fantastic. They had been talking about this design trend, which obviously piqued my interest, around two dishwashers and they had the best discussion about it. And I was like, okay, that seems silly. But as they were talking about it, I went, okay, actually I could totally get behind two dishwashers. This would be great. Now, of course it eats up a lot of space, but a lot of the theory around it was, you know, you have your dishwasher and it gets full quick. And then you have other items in the sink that you're gonna have to wash by hand. So I feel like this is my take on the double dishwasher trend. You won't use both of them all the time. I feel like for the most part, it's like a struggle to fill up the dishwasher, but then you make, you know, a big meal, let's say on a Saturday evening, and there's just a ton of dishes. And then all of a sudden it's like that half full dishwasher doesn't have enough space. So you fill up, but then you have more stuff. So if you had the overflow dishwasher, you could use it for that. And Kat on the podcast brought up another great point. When you have young children, there's lots of different, you know, little things. They have lots of little things and they use lots of different <laughs> kitchen stuff, which I went, yeah, my kid will use three plates in an evening. Absolutely. So I get that. I get that with kids. And then my other thought was entertaining. You have a big gathering of people. If you had that extra dishwasher, that's great because then that like gets cleaned up super fast and like completely put away and it's all done with. And I really liked that. So I, I heard this trend and I went, there was lots more I wanted to cover and this one wasn't even on my radar. So I had to include that in this because I think that's actually such a great and useful tool to have in the kitchen is two dishwashers. And if you remember from my kitchen trends video, we talked about the butler's pantry. I feel like if you have room for a butler's pantry, that's the perfect spot to put that secondary dishwasher. Hmm? I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you like this trend because I, I was, like I said, it inspired me to create a whole other video to talk about all the other stuff that I didn't get to in the first one. <laughs> so I hope you guys find that as kind of like thought provoking as I did. Okay, this one is interesting. I feel like we've been seeing this for a while. I myself have been using this in designs and that is this fluted wall panel trend, which also ties into this resurgence of the 70s. So the, the two of them are a hand in hand, this kind of 70s resurgence trend, as well as this fluted wall detail. We've been seeing them for a while, but they are still picking up steam and becoming even hotter for 2024. I've used it quite a bit in my corporate design uh, aesthetics. And you know, with corporate design, you tend to redo spaces roughly every 10 years or so, even if it's just a minor refresh. And this is something that's pretty easy to handle because you can just do it as an accent wall. So you know, in 10 years, if you have to fix one wall, not the end of the world. And I really like this. I've actually wanted to incorporate it in my own home in some way, but it just doesn't quite fit in anywhere that I'm thinking personally, but I kind of thought, oh, maybe in the uh, guest bathroom, like behind the mirror, you know, do something there, maybe curl it up onto the ceiling. I'm really loving this paneled look. I'm loving the 70s resurgence. I think it looks really, really nice. And I'm liking the modern twist on how we're, you know, incorporating this style in the 2024 trend. At Interior Design Hub, we believe in maximizing space so that we can design success for you and your business. We love space. Space planning is our absolute specialty. And there are a lot of reasons why you wanna maximize your space, whether you're growing or downsizing. There's a lot of benefits and savings involved when you actually utilize your space properly. So whether your teams are changing, you're switching to a hybrid or remote model, or you're just looking to 
better use the space that you have, Interior Design Hub is here to help you. Give us a shout and let us join you on your space planning process. So we've talked a lot about color. One of the colors we haven't talked about too much is chocolate brown. And chocolate brown is making a comeback. It's really gaining a lot more popularity. I think it has to do again with a lot of that organic and natural color palette that we're, you know, seeing really popular coming into 2024. And I think that chocolate brown is also in that family. So we're going to see a lot more of it in our interior spaces, which I feel like I could see that in furniture, especially with some velvets and like mixing it in. I don't know if I would do too much of it personally. But a beautiful chocolate brown is back on trend come 2024. This next trend, I feel like I've noticed it subtly creeping in more and more, again, with this very natural aesthetic that we're seeing, and that's this lime wash finish. I feel like we're seeing a lot more textures on organic materials in general, even with the tiles that I've mentioned previously in our other design style video. And this really leans into that as well, that natural texture. Now, I am going to say I grew up in a time when textured walls was a thing. A little bit different, not quite <laughs> as, as refined looking as the lime wash. And if you change your mind, it is a giant pain in the ass. Let me just tell you right now, it is not easy to fix or change once you commit to doing a textured finish on your walls. That being said, this aesthetic is very subtle and it's a very nice kind of um, minimal approach to a textured finish. So if you love it and you think that this would look really good and this is really suiting to your aesthetic, you know, I feel like this is one of those looks that can be timeless if you just keep it in a neutral finish. Like it doesn't need to look uh, like a trend even though it's becoming really popular again, but it's something that we've done forever and ever. Like think of plaster walls, like this is not new by any means. We're just seeing a big resurgence of it come 2024. And I like it. I think it looks really beautiful. I don't think I would do it. <laughs> That's the honest truth. I don't think I would do it myself, but I really do love the aesthetic of it. This is a fun one. And I, I really do like this and I could get behind this as long as I can afford to pay somebody else to do it. <laughs> and that is wallpaper on the ceiling. I've been noticing this when I've been doing different research on trends, more and more ceilings done with this, you know, wallpaper detail, even if it's just an inlay in a dining room or if it's just in a powder room or a bedroom, I like it. I think it adds kind of that little bit of extra to a space. It just gives it a step up in a totally different direction. It's something that's unexpected. I think wallpapering your ceiling would look fantastic, minus actually wallpapering your ceiling. Because <laughs> doing it would be hard. And that would be, I think, my biggest struggle with this trend is if you're a DIYer and you're good at stuff like that, awesome. If you're not a DIYer and you have to pay somebody to do it, I have a feeling it would be an expensive install for wallpaper, but I do think it adds a really great visual interest to a space to incorporate that wallpaper on your ceiling. I feel like you can see this trend kind of across the board with most of the stuff I've talked about in our videos. And that's this warm minimalism. I feel like maximalism isn't going anywhere, but there is really a push to this warm minimalism. You know, think Japandi style, think uh, Scandinavian inspired styles. That look and aesthetic, very warm, very cozy, but still minimalist and that rustic and organic and natural. Again, all bleeding into this really warm minimalist aesthetic that we're really seeing. Even these lime wash walls that we just talked about, they really do lean into that aesthetic as well. And I am here for it. As much as I will say, I'm definitely more on the maximalist side. I like uh, just more stuff. I like books, as you can see. And this style for, for me personally probably wouldn't work, but from an, a visual and aesthetic and just like admiring the you know, look in general, I think it looks fantastic. I think it's gorgeous if it works for your lifestyle. Uh, I think it's what I like about it. It's not 
um, uninviting. And I think that's what I actually gravitate towards when I see these warm minimalistic spaces is that they still feel cozy and they still feel like a space you want to be in, you know, not like a museum or something that you can't touch anything. So I, I do like this look. I think this is a great trend and we're seeing more and more of it come 2024. I feel like this one ties into that 70s paneling look that we've talked about and that's bringing pine into our spaces. So I feel like we're seeing a lot more, you know, pine walls and pine furniture and just that natural looking pine detail. It's something that's really popular in Scandinavian decor. I feel like we've seen a lot of it. It's not new, but it's gaining a lot more popularity come 2024. And I feel like it goes in again, natural organic textures, that light minimalism, warm minimalism. And I feel like there's something about that pine look that just has its own very distinctive look when it comes to a wood finish. I personally really like the look of this. I like that light natural wood look. I think it adds a really nice element to a space, especially when you're doing a lot of, you know, more lighter and neutral colors. It gives that little bit of grounding and natural and nature element to a space through that wood tone and that natural look to it. So I really like this. And you can combine the pine with the slat wall and like do both. You could do a pine slat wall. So yeah, I think it's a great trend. I'm really liking it. And I'm, I think overall 2024 is just really exciting because I like the movement that we're going into for the trends this year. They're definitely warm and inviting. <laughs> and as I say that, <laughs> there's another trend that definitely isn't for me personally, and that's this metallics trend. So there is a completely different side to the trends, you know, area, and that is this metallics, uh, resurgence of metallics in our spaces. You know, whether it's in the kitchen or the bathroom or lighting, it's kind of evolving into all spaces of the home. And we're seeing more chrome. We're seeing more shiny metallics used. And we're also seeing more aluminum being used. It also fits into that sustainability story because aluminum is super lightweight and it can be recycled indefinitely. So it's kind of interesting when I see some of the ways that they're using it. Again, I guess I just don't really... I'm not a metallics fan. Like I like the golds, but even then I like more of like a brushed, like I don't like it super shiny. And this is definitely on the shiny side. <laughs> so using these metallics in a very, you know, bold and standoff way is the way that we're seeing them used. So I know I just did a video on kitchens and this is one that I didn't get into, but I feel like it was shown in some of the images, but I wanted to highlight it here because that is the one wall kitchen. So it kind of leans into that minimalism look again, where we're seeing this more simple style kitchen use. And this is also with those smaller spaces, we're seeing a rise in condos, at least where I am. And that smaller space and the smaller footprint is really, you know, creating interesting ways of storage and creating a better use of space. And one of those better uses of space is the one wall kitchen. And I feel like what's interesting with these is we're also seeing this very clean cabinet style, a lot of built-in appliances. Perhaps you could still have, you know, two dishwashers in a one wall kitchen, who knows? <laughs> what I like about this trend is it's just re-envisioning how we lay out space and how we're using space. And I like, you know, that kitchens are so flexible and there's so many ways, whether it's a huge gigantic kitchen with your butler's pantry and everything, out the wazoo, or if it's a super sleek and minimal one wall kitchen that's more for a small space or even just minimalism and not wanting to utilize too much space for your kitchen. Perhaps you're not really big into cooking. You know, not everybody really cares to do much in the kitchen other than the function, the basic function, you know, some food, some water, some snacks, and everything else can be, you know, Postmates or whatever you're using for your food delivery service. It's really however you use your space and how you desire it to look. So I really do like these one wall kitchens and I like the creativity. I think you don't have to sacrifice in luxury or style when it comes to doing something in a smaller footprint. This is another trend that we are seeing, just like I touched on with the kitchen, the single kitchen, you can still tap into that luxurious feeling no matter what size your space is. And we're seeing the trend of quiet luxury continue to become popular for 2024. If you wanna learn more about quiet luxury, 
I did a video on that. Jump on over and check that one out next.